Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 101. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook. YouTubers Love Excel 101 to 111. Hey, this YouTuber wanted to add conditional formatting anytime the percentages are less than 16%. This YouTuber also asked about custom number formatting. So I'll show you a trick with custom number formatting. You can actually do conditional formatting with just regular formatting. All right, we're going to highlight so and we're going to look at three ways to do this. I'm going to highlight this whole range to do conditional formatting. That light color cell up in the uh, top of the highlighted range is the active cell, so we've got to be aware of that. In 2003, to do conditional formatting, you go to Format, Menu, Conditional Formatting. And in 2007, you go Home, Styles, and then Conditional Formatting. I'm going to click Escape. Uh, the keyboard shortcut that works everywhere is Alt-O-D, O-D. I'm going to click New Rule, click on this formula, and click right there. In 2003, when you open up the dialog box, you just click the first drop down and say Formula Is. Now let's build our true false formula. It needs a true false formula, and then we'll tell it what format when this is true. Now I'm going to click in this cell right here, the active cell, and I'm going to hit the F4 key because guess what? This needs to be a relative cell reference. This true false formula is stored in memory, but it's as if it's copied down and over. So we want every cell to do what? Less than, and then click on this hurdle we have up here. It's got to be less than, and that one is locked. And that formula will work. True false for every one of these. Format. I'm going to click on, in 2003, this says Patterns, Border, Font. Those tabs are in 2003. This is in 2007 only. I'm going to say Font, Color, Red. Click OK, click OK, click OK. In 2007, you have more OKs to click through. And just like that, you can see formatting less than 16%. Hit the F9 key. You can see I have this ran this uh, set up to randomize. Now let's do, um, I want to do conditional formatting, but I want to do use the new number format tab in 2007. I'm going to highlight the whole range. Active cell right there. Alt-O-D. And if you have trouble with the Alt keys, hit Alt. If you're in 2007, hit Alt and let go of it, and then hit O and then D. I'm going to click New Rule. We'll do the same thing again. Remember, this first one's got to be in the active cell, and it's got to be a relative cell reference. So I'm going to hit F4, F4, F4. Less than this right here. Now we got the true false, so it'll be copied everywhere. I'm going to click on the format, and I'm going to apply a number. I'm going to say fraction. Uh, I'm going to go down to. Uh, that one's fine right there. And then I want to go down to custom. Notice that little pound sign in custom format means an integer. So if it was a, uh, an integer, and then that means a fraction, like for mixed numbers. But watch this. I'm going to add a percent symbol here. Now it will say um, 83 and 1 fourth percent. So this is a uh, custom number format we're building. Now again, you can't do this in earlier versions with conditional formatting. I'm going to click OK, and then OK. And then, uh, no, we want to click on there and say, edit. Guess what? We forgot to do font color. So I'm going to go back. Oh, you mean you can go back? Yeah, sure. Click the font tab and then red. Click OK, click OK, click OK. And sure enough, there it is. See, that's 12 and 7 eighths percent. Now, let's do something probably not a lot of people uh, know about. Uh, I never use I never use this. Um, I actually had to look this up in one of my books. Uh, custom number format to do the same thing that conditional formatting does. Highlight the whole range. Control one because we need to go to format cells. Control one. Go down to custom. This is just adding format in the format cells dialog box. Now up here we're going to do a trick. Now square brackets here. Square bracket red square bracket. That will add a red color. And then uh, space square bracket um, less than 0.16 square bracket. Um, and then I'm going to do a space and I'm going to do 0.00 percent. That'll add red and this, but anytime this is for any time it's less than 16%. So then we need to do a semicolon because it's just like an if. 
here's what to do if this is true, but we do a semicolon. We have to say what to do if it doesn't meet this condition. If you don't put anything here, it'll put whatever the default is for the computer. But I'm going to put 0.00%. Let's see if this works. I got that right. Click OK. And sure enough, that is a different way, not with conditional formatting, but with custom number formatting. If I hit F9, 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 F9. There's always notes up here. I have some notes even about that uh, conditional formatting. All right, we'll see you next YouTube trick.